of light flowers before thee, opening to the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Give her up, immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. Thou art giving and forgiving, ever blessed, ever blessed. Wellspring of the joy of living, ocean depth of happy rest. Our Father, Christ our brother, all who live in one are thine. Teach us how to love each other. Lift us to the joy divine. In the name of the Father, <clears throat> and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit, Father. My brothers and sisters, let us enter into the presence of God in the silence of our hearts. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my foe, through my foe, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord God, who in the wondrous way choose the blessed Apostle Paul to preach the gospel, Grant, we pray, that the whole world may be imbued with that faith which he brought before rulers and the nations for the unceasing growth of your church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We have been reassured about you, brothers and sisters, in our every distress and affliction through your faith. For we now live if you stand firm in the Lord. What thanksgiving, then, can we render for, to God for you? For all the joy we feel on account before our God? Night and day we pray beyond measure to see you in person and to remedy the deficiencies of your faith. Now may God himself, our Father, and our Lord Jesus direct our way to you, and may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we have for you, so as to strengthen your hearts to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his holy ones. Amen. The word of the Lord. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. 
Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. You turn back man, you turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may be gracious care of the Lord our God be yours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Stay awake, for you know not when the Son of Man will come. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant, whom the Master has put in charge of his household, to distribute to them their food at the proper times? Blessed is that servant whom his master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will, be, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is long delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Maybe the, the, the lesson of today is, just like Jesus says, stay awake. Stay awake and be ready. Sometimes it's, it's easier said than done. Is it because oftentimes, especially it, when we are in tune of our prayer, sometimes it's easy to do it just because we want to do it, you know? with no, no idea or, you know, with no sense of knowing what we are doing. Just a routine. In some way, what Jesus is saying is this, just being awake, just being awake is to know exactly what we are doing in our prayer but at the same time to know exactly who we are worshiping as God. Because 
worshiping God is to know our own place, our own vocation, to know our own calling in the big, big pictures, in the big inspiration of God's role, of God's, you know, uh, calling to each and every one of us. Being awake in, in that sense is just like a servant who knows exactly what is his role, what, what it is that he, he needs to be doing uh, according to the calling of each and every one of, of them. And I invite you, brother and sister, to reflect on this question. What it is that you're calling and how can you fulfill this inspiration of God to be awake, to be fulfilling the, the calling, the place that you have chosen for yourself in your life, so that each and every moment of your life can be a moment of preparation, of knowing that you are worshiping God in, in your life, and allow God to bless you with that. Today, Brian and Deanna are celebrating their 32nd anniversary of their marriage. Brian and Deanna, on the anniversary of that celebration at which you join your lives in a, an unbreakable bond through the sacrament of matrimony, you now intend to renew before the Lord the promises you make to one another. Turn to the Lord in prayer that these vows may be strengthened by divine grace. Blessed are you, Lord, for by your goodness I took Deanna as my wife. Blessed are you, Lord, for by my goodness I took Brian as my husband. Blessed, Blessed are you, Lord, Lord for, for in the good and the bad times of our life, you have stood lovingly by our side. Help us, we pray, to remain faithful in our love for one another, so that we may be true witnesses to the covenant we have made for humankind. May the Lord keep you safe all the days of your life. May he be your comfort in adversity and your support in prosperity. And may he fill your home with his blessings. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Increase and sanctify, Lord, the love of your servants, Brian and Deanna, who once gave each other these drinks as a sign of faithfulness, that they may always grow in the grace of the sacrament. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. mindful of the needs of God in our lives, let us together bring our prayers before him. For the church, in her work to build the kingdom of God on earth, may God guide her in his holy call. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. 
for all who are in leadership in our communities. May God give them courage in their professions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For all who struggle with unbelief, may God's presence in their lives increase their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. For all of us gathered here today, may God help us to always be prepared for his coming again. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For all who have passed away from this life in the hope of eternal life, may God's peace be with them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. And the special intentions of this Mass is for the repose of the soul of Tom Thorley. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty Father, every gift we have is from you. Hear the prayers we offer and answer them, we ask, through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with that light of faith by which he constantly enlightened the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us keep thanks to the Lord our God. Is it truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God? For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not de desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it might be governed by those you have appointed shepherds, to lead it in the name of your Son, and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as with our end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you will have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his brother, Bishop, Timothy, and Thomas, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We praise you, O God, we bless you, creator of all things, who in the beginning make men and women, that they might form a communion of life and love. We also give you thanks for graciously blessing the family life of your servant, Brian and Diana, so that it might present an image of Christ's union with the church. Therefore, look with kindness upon them today, and as you have sustained their communion, Amid joys and struggles, renew their marriage covenant each day 
increase their charity and strengthening them the bond of peace, so that together with the circle of their children that surrounds them, they may forever enjoy your blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Cheer the heart. Lord, I 
get so tired of the struggle with thee. I settled in complacency and I'm weighed down by my sin. So lead me past emotion. Because they change with the wind I want to be a true disciple To daily choose your hand Cause you are my everything You are the song I sing I'll do anything for you teach me how to pray live a life of grace i'll go anywhere with you jesus be my everything jesus Let us pray. Grand Lord, to those refreshed by communion in the body and blood of your Son, that Christ himself may be life to us, that nothing may separate us from his love, and that attentive to the teaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, we may walk in charity with our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Again, congratulations, Brian and Diana, for your anniversary of marriage. <laughs> the Lord be with you. With your spirit, Father. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and